guys, welcome dan salam sejahtera semua. Today, uh, I'll just continue about the digital marketing strategy of using insight. Here, using insight is really important. Like my previous video, I mentioned that to understand when uh, what your customers want is by understanding the insights whether this social media of um, this social media content of soft selling works or the hard selling content works compared to the other okay um, on and also to understand when your customers are active on the social media channels other than that um, you can actually understand who are on your social media channels so these are the examples of insights on Facebook on Facebook you can understand the reach of your posts uh, the total audience who saw your Facebook for postings on your page um, and also you can see the total engagement how many shares how many likes how many comments or click per post on the uh, content on Facebook um, other than that on posts you can also understand what posts on certain time in the morning or in the afternoon on the day Monday until Sunday who engage on your postings um, and also you can see <clears throat> whether your photos your videos your link or your statuses are doing well or not okay you can compare and contrast and <clears throat> people you can understand who are your fans here you can understand the gender perhaps the age the location and also the language you can understand your fans who are they um, who have you reached who have you engaged right so here when you see this um, when you see the people you can understand what language do they speak um, when are they active the location time zone different geography different country have different time zone for example in uk they are active at um, 12 pm malaysian time but however malaysia is active at 8 am so different location have different time zone you have to understand that so it will determine you you to post at the right timing i need to post at 12 p.m malaysian time to reach my uk um, audiences i need to post at 8 a.m because this is when my malaysian audiences are active on facebook right um and also you can see whether they are active or uh, whether on monday during weekdays or during weekends so you need to know whether how many times you need to post during weekdays or weekends um, and also at what timing here um, other than Facebook insights you can see as well your Instagram insights here mostly you can know what content receive most engagement most likes most comments okay um, and also you can understand how many people save your posts your content that you posted on your instagram account all right um you can also see how many people viewed your stories here also you can see how many people visit your profile click on your website your email so here it can help you to see whether your cta is working and also when you use your paid posts on your instagram okay you can know whether this paid post attract a lot of people to come towards your instagram account so you can understand whether your paid post works or not all right um so the next one is the activity whether your post reach your people uh reach people in the instagram um platform um, who have seen your posts or uh, numbers of times that one single person have seen that post you can see right um, so that determines also whether your post is engaging you can see that and also you can understand your Instagram followers here by looking at your audience you can uh, it will show the gender the age range location and also the followers when they are active the time and the days so here 
your insights will really help you to tell when your customers are active, the timing, the hours, the days. So there it can help you to determine when you should post, whether on Facebook, Instagram, during what time. You can see Instagram and Facebook, perhaps they will have different, um, different engagement or different insights. So you can post at 5 p.m. on Instagram because that is where your Instagram followers are active. But however, on Facebook, you should not post on 5 at 5 p.m. at all because that is not when your fans of Facebook are active. They are mostly active at 12 p.m. So different platforms have different customers or different behaviors of customers. And also, um, they have different uh perhaps different audiences okay so here also you can all use the insights to determine whether your content works or not perhaps on instagram the soft selling content works compared to hard selling however on facebook perhaps your hard selling content works compared to your soft selling content so different social media channels perhaps have different audiences which have different behaviors okay so here you need to understand not one size fits all so you need to understand different channels have different audiences okay so that is all about digital marketing you have learned about the content strategy how you can adapt with all those different social media what you should do on this social different social media and how you can actually understand people in different social media to reach them to engage them so it will help you in your businesses to build that relationship with your audiences or your customers on this social media okay. all right until the next time i'll see you in the next video